Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So this one's for you na attend sa Surf Break 2017. So of course, always start with a clean face and with your skincare. So today I'm using this Myra Whitening Facial Moisturizer. Maganda to guys kasi para lang siyang lotion and it's very lightweight. At syempre dahil sa beach ang punta natin, importante ang sunscreen. That's why I chose this one with SPF 15. Next is this Cathy Doll CC Cream with an intense SPF 50 and I am combining it with the L'Oreal BB Cream para hindi siya masyadong mapute for my skin tone. So this was the first time I'm actually using the CC Cream and I love it. Look it guys, the BB Cream looks really light at first pero when you start to blend it on your skin, nag adjust siya sa skin tone mo kaso medyo mo orange siya that's why perfect match to sa CC Cream ng Cathy Doll. So I'm applying that on my face using my warm fingers and blending it out with a foundation brush. So you can use your fingers but I prefer using brushes pag nag apply ako ng base ko and I added two layers kasi super dami pang natira sa dispense ko kanina. And of course, blending it down hanggang sa neck para matchy-matchy. So to give color to my face, I'm using this Everbilena Lip and Cheek Stain. So we're going for a drunk blush look today and this one is the perfect product. So to be honest guys, first time ko siyang gamitin and ang ganda niya kasi hindi siya masyadong saturated. Kaya you can actually control the intensity of the pink tint. So I'm first applying that all over my cheeks and to my nose bridge. And I'm patting and wiping the product onto my face para magmukha siyang natural tignan. Kunwari rosy chicks, ganun. So for that glowing look under the sun, I'm using this cream highlighter stick from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And look it guys, this is pure regions. And as in tignan nyo naman, so I'm applying that directly on my face sa high points ng aking chicks and blending it out with this e.l.f. powder brush. And of course, to set all those creams and liquids, I'm using the Fashion 21 Boost Powder. So this powder is perfect for Filipina skin tone, you guys. Lalo na on this look kasi matutong daw niya yung kaputian ng base natin kanina. And now we're on the eyes. I'm using this cream-colored eyeshadow to mattify my lids. Kasi kanina nung naglay ako ng base ko, dinaan ko din yung brush ko sa aking eyelids. Then of course, kailangan natin ng transition shade, which is this brown eyeshadow. You don't have to be precise on this. Apply nyo lang siya sa crease nyo to slightly deepen your crease and warm up the eyes para lang ma-prepare sila sa next eyeshadows na ilalagay natin. Next is this orangey brown eyeshadow. So this will go to the crease but more on the outer part lang ng lids. So binibend ko lang siya para hindi naman super intense orange tignan. The next one is itong brown eyeshadow with a red or orange undertone na parang combination lang ng mga eyeshadows na ginamit natin kanina. Kaya perfect siya for blending everything together. And of course, highlight na din ng ating brow bone with the base color kanina. And ginamit ko na rin sa center of my lids para cancel out yung mga orange shades na umabot sa part na yun nung nag-blend tayo. Lastly, using this peach colored eyeshadow with some orange reflex, I'm laying it down on my center lid using a flat brush na hindi masyadong dense para hindi ganun ka-intense yung shimmer. Then with the blending brush I used a while ago, I'm blending everything once again. Of course, how can we forget the brow? So, I'm quickly filling them in lang. We're not after brows on fix sa look na ito. So, dark brown eyeshadow lang din ang ginamit ko. Then, with this Ever Belena face powder na medyo pitch undertone, I'm using it to brighten up my under eyes since di nga tayo nag-concealer kanina. And, syempre, sa T-zone na din natin. So this part guys, optional lang ang mascara pero never skip the curl lash kasi mas fresh yung dating pag na-lift yung lashes. So with the mascara, I chose to apply a bit para lang matint yung lashes. So as you can see, I'm literally blinking onto the wand para lang madaanan yung lashes ko sa product. So this is waterproof kaya kung balak nyo mag-swimming, caring care ito guys. So for my powder blush, I'm using this Fashion 21 Duo Blush On. Sobrang luma na nito pero naisip ko ulit gamitin kasi ang ganda ng pagka-pitch ng color niya and the shimmers are so tiny. Kaya perfect siya as highlighter and blushing one. 
And syempre para sa mga ayaw umitim pero gusto ng tan look sa mga selfies by the beach, this step is for you, bronzer. So like the usual, i-apply ko lang siya sa perimeters ng aking face to warm it up and also sa sides ng aking nose to slightly contour it. So di po to sponsor ng Fashion 21 pero this eyeshadow is the bomb. I've been using it since then to highlight my face and it never failed me. Kita nyo naman, no? And for my nose highlight, I'm using a small brush para mas precise yung application. And mamukhang malit yung nose ko. And of course, Cupid's bow. Pak! Mm. Again, with the Everblena tint sa lips ko for that flush of color. So medyo nabitin ako sa kulay niya kaya I used my Tony Moly lip tint. But just on the center of my lips. Kunwari ko rikori yan. Ganun! And I'm done with the face. Now we're on the different hairstyles you can wear to the beach. So ayosin ko lang yung hair ko guys and I'll be back. So I chose to curl my hair pero medyo wavy wavy lang and syempre combing that, yes. And setting it with hairspray from Finesse. Shake it and spray. So for the first look, syempre dahil kanina ko pasot yung sunglasses ko, syempre gagamitin na natin siya, di ba? So ayan, ginawa ko lang siyang headband, pampabibo ganun. Or, turban! Pwede rin kayong gumamit ng war turban instead of headband kasi it's easier to manipulate at hindi siya madaling matanggal unlike yung turban na cloth, ayan no? So, pwede nyo na rin itali yung hair nyo kung ayaw nyo hinahangin-hangin siya habang naglalakad kayo, ganun. Ayan, itatali ko siya. And that's the second hairstyle. Or bun. Since nandiyan na rin yung turban nyo, why not tie your hair up na din? Para mas press ko, ba? Simple messy bun lang. Optional yung bangs. Kaso medyo epilogs. Pero iniwan ko na siya dyan kasi malaki yung face ko. So, kailangan ko siya i-frame. Lastly, if sensitive yung eyes nyo sa maliwanag like me, pero gusto nyo maglakad-lakad sa dagat, you can wear a cap or a hat. Ang downside lang guys is mainit ito sa ulo. Pero for me, comfortable pa din siya. And tignan nyo naman guys, yung cap. Hard to, hard to. And nafa-flatter niya yung curls ko so I love it. And syempre the classic one kung ayaw nyo ng any hair accessories. You can always put your hair up in a bun. So, I use a dry shampoo para mas ma-texturize lang yung hair ko. Grabe ang bango nito guys, promise. Grabbing that and... Ayan, putting up my hair in a bun. Parang normal lang. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and here's a heart for you. And bye-bye!